SASN.TV, the only high school sports network that features the top athletes in the DMV. Athletic Sports Network hey. broadcast. Today, we have the Coolidge Coats versus the Bell Griffins here. Now, before we start, we would like to let everybody know this is the Dean Wood Radio broadcast program uh, in conjunction with Lou Hall and Delano Hunter. We would like to thank you all for this amazing opportunity. I have on my right right here, Chanel. Chanel, say hello. Hi. And I have the amazing Eric right here. Say hi, Eric. Yo, yo. We will be handling the commentating to today's game. So, tonight is senior night here. Uh, at Coolidge, so you guys will be able to see the cameras uh, working around, but it is senior night here. Uh, for people who do not know, Coolidge is 13-7, 11-2 in league play. Bale is 13-7 and 7-3 and in league play, mm -hmm. so it looks like we're going to have an amazing basketball game here today. So um, we're going to look forward to a whole bunch of stuff, but we're going to go to the starting lineup right now, so we're going to change this camera, and we're going to go. As you notice, they never clap for the opposing team. Nah, it was just trash. Well, I guess it's not trash, but. Live here now. So once again, Coolidge is 13 and 7, 11 and 2 in league play. Uh, Bell is 13 and 7, 7 and 3 in league play. So this looks like it's going to be a tight matchup today. Uh, Coolidge is actually in the um, DCS AA, and one is in the DCS A. So it is two different conferences, almost like uh, scales or whatever. But both of these teams are very competitive in their uh, prospective conferences. So. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to be a great game. Uh, Coco, I mean, I'm sorry, Ch Chanel, <laughs> how you feel? Uh, I feel like it'll be a very interesting game. Now, let me ask you a question. As a uh, student here, uh, are you rooting for Coolidge? Yes, of course. Okay, so want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want, want to make sure. Uh, once again, we want to thank the Department of Recreation, Lou Hall, Delano Hunter, and also the amazing Chris Bryan and Scholar Athletic Sports Network for allowing us to, to be here. Tip-off is now going. All right, let's go, baby. That's how you feel? Yes, sir. Okay. It's game time, baby. Okay, okay. That is uh, Curtis right here with the ball. Gives it to Walker into the paint. Oh. Ah, can't get it go. Walker with the rebound. He averages almost 20 rebounds a game, which is crazy. Hold on. He really averages 20. almost he 19.5 rebounds. I got the stats right here. Oh, wow. It's amazing. All right. 
Bill is in there. They're actually in a 2-3 zone right now, so that should be interesting. Rebound. Rebound Coolidge. Walker. Coolidge he has is on the run. Two already. And shot's no good. <clears throat> oh, it's a block. That's a block right there. Hey, Bell is known for playing really good defense. That's how they got these 13 wins. Um, yeah, very effective on the defensive side. Three. Oh. Rebound Bell. Can't get it to fall. Rebound Bell. Now, it's interesting that we're seeing some people playing in their PPE uh, PP, uh, mask. <laughs> no, no, I'm not joking. That, that is actually really good. They're going to show you um, some of the safety precautions that some teams take when they're playing. But um, I love it. Ooh. All right. Coolidge ball, 655. No score right now. Uh, zero, number zero. Curtis is running the point for them. And, yeah, and, and Bale is in a 2 3 zone as well. So that's Ooh. interesting. Yeah. Shot. <laughs> All right. Home team has got on the board first, so that's interesting. I mean, Coolidge is eight and two at home, so the is this game is looking really in their favor. Ooh, it's great defense though. Um, great defense. Really aggressive. Like, yeah. I guess we can see why Bell is thirteen and seven because they do play a tenacious defense and Coolidge as well. Bell is back in their two three zone, and it looks like they're going to be living there. Shout out to the coolest chill leaders in the lane. That's a nice pass. Hey, and Walker a... draws the foul. Okay. And that foul is on number 24. Mohammed Blinte. That is his that is his first foul. And Bell does not want to commit much of those. Three nothing now. Just need to get these papers together. How you feel over there, uh, Miss Chanel? Um, I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> Coolidge is now in a press. They're now in a one-three-one press, man to man right now, man to man. To the zone. Spreading the brown. They're really aggressive in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, number Ooh. 24 with the big word. Walker with a, yet another rebound. Now, now I see why he averages 19.5. Yeah. He's a beast on the boards. Shot. Three. Nice shot. By Curtis. Curtis. And Curtis is averaging 7.7 .7 points a game. Yeah. So he already has four. He's almost at his average right now. You think this is going to be a big game for him? It looks like it. I mean, especially in the zone where they're playing in. It's giving him space to shoot if he's a shooter. But Coolidge's defense is really tenacious. I really like how quick they are getting back. That follows on Walker. All right. That is uh, number five. Seeing is Anchmore, who is a senior, and he is averaging. Well, they didn't put his stats on here, but we're learning. Both shots are made, seven to two. Coolidge is in the lead, five twelve and counting right now in the game, and Bell is back in their two three zone right now, and they're really tight. It's really interesting, mm. but they do have the because of the Gaskins. Nice. Gaskins, their leading scorer with twenty two points per game. Don't want to let him get too hot, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, do you see that he's averaging 21.8 a game? That's so crazy. He might not be the person you want to leave open on the perimeter. Yeah. Averaging 21 points a game. Ooh. Hey. That's, oh. that's a great That's great defense, though. Nah, that's Ooh. amazing. It's a referee timeout right now. Was 4:35 left to go in the first quarter. Uh, Coolidge is up 10 to two right now. It's a referee's timeout, so we're going to see what that is about. And they are practicing social distancing with the crowd. 
They are. Isn't that amazing? It is. I don't know what the call was. What, what was the call, Chanel? I'm not sure. Okay, don't worry about it. We, <laughs> we all working the kinks out the first game. Uh, Kudis is back in their 2-1-2 two, uh, two, two zone. Uh, and they're really tenacious on it. They are really aggressive. Ooh, that's Ooh. a shot. Nice that's number shot. one. Nice but one shot. thing about Coolidge, they're making Bell work for every point that they get. That's a great shot. Ten to four. Ooh, Walker at the top of the key. Can't get it to land. So it's still going to be Coolidge ball. Walker is doing it all. Man, what? Carrying the ball up the court, shooting threes, getting rebounds. Money in the bank. Ooh, that was a great scene, screen set by Walker. Gaskins can't get it to hit. Rebound. That may be the first time we've seen Gaskins miss. Yeah, man. An average of 21.8 a game. He might be the wrong person to leave open. Maybe they didn't read the scouting report. <laughs> In the corner again. Rebound. Mm, rebound Walker. Ooh, gets it taken away. Bell on the break. Now, this is how Bell gets a lot of their points on the fast break opportunities. Ooh, but you can't let Coolidge's defense get set. It's a great assessment. Oh, my goodness. What the? Oh, my God. But Coolidge is tenacious. They really are. Corner three. Ooh. Walker with the rebound. Man. Yeah, and, another and, one. And he's running the break. What a pass. What a pass. To the corner. Three. Curtis. Ooh. Walker. Walker with another oh. rebound. With the... Jesus Christ. Man, he may have five and six in one corner. That's oh, a steal by Gaskins. Steal by Gaskins. They're going to call that? That's a good yep. no call. That's a good no call. What do you think? That was a good no call? Yes. Hey, Chanel. I, you know what I mean? I like it. Fast-paced action in here today. Uh, once again, Gaskins at the top of the key. Back in the zone. Mm -hmm. Walker is now Walker. getting Debra team. Money Walker does not care who's on him. Man, he's averaging literally a double-double, 17 and 19. Last game, he had 22 and 22. Wow. And it looks like he's on his way to that type of night tonight. Man, what? Bell trying to get this ball movement going. Trying to move the ball around. Drive. Good shot. shot. Ooh, just can't get it to land. Coolidge is on the break. Coolidge trying to push it. Mm. Travel. Travel. Got to put that ball down before you move, my boy. Got to put that ball down before you move. <laughs> but here's the thing. I like the way Coolidge is, is moves the ball. They yeah. definitely consistently move the ball. But that's a timeout right now. So at 2.33 uh, left to go in the first quarter, mm -hmm. Coolidge is 12. Uh, Bell is 4. So far, so good. Um, what are you saying so far, um, I'm seeing great defense by Coolidge. Coolidge is definitely taking advantage of their fast break opportunities, opportunities and pushing the break. We don't. We have some technical difficulties. If you are listening, thank you so much. But we're going to keep it moving. Uh, I'm sorry, Eric. You said what? Uh, Coolidge is doing a great job defensively. Um, pushing the break, getting rebounds, boxing out. They just have to finish on the other side of the floor. Um, that's, a Bell, great that's a great assessment. Bell, on the other hand, man, are just really struggling with this def with this press and man and two threes and one three ones that Coolidge is running right now. Yes, it is. Also, uh, Bell at the top of the key. Coco Chanel, uh, what if? What have you been saying so far? What is your assessment? Great defense from both teams. That is true. Very aggressive, too. Yes. Very nice drive. That's Ooh. a three. Ooh, he got that one to land. That would be crazy. All right, Coolidge is on the move. Right down. Bill does get back on defense. They do does. play good. They get back on defense. One fifty-two, number thirty-three is now in the game for Bell. Number thirty-three is Tayari Harrison. No relations to uh, <laughs> Chanel Harris. 
Sometimes you can confuse them Harrison Harrisons. Back on the move, Coolidge is moving the ball around. Uh, Bell is still in there, two, three zone, and they're splitting Ooh. it. Walker. I don't think I would have did that. I think I might have kicked it out the Gaskins. Yeah. But once again, I'm, uh, it's a lot of respect to uh, Coolidge for making the extra pass. They definitely make the extra pass in most of these games. No, right for here. sure. That's a foul on number yeah. 20. As soon as he's manning up, though. He is. Number 20. Sincere Cole. Sincere Cole. Okay, thank you so much for that. No problem. Money in the bank. Because I don't even have that on my sheet. You took it off. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Great job. Bell is at the top of the key. Coolidge is in a 1-3-1 one, one zone right now, which, which is basically to stop anything from going in the paint at this point. Bell's um, just trying to get anything going right now. Shot on the corner. Shot up. Oh, that no was good. no good. Ooh, Coolidge trying to push it. That's Walker. Walker with the ball. Walker with the pass. See the three. Hey! See the three. Good three by Nerves. Nerves. Nevers, 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 Nevers. 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 Austin Day. Okay. Good job. I mean, she go here, so. Yeah. I don't know none of them. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, don't be like that. You I'm know, not like that. I'm no, just no, good. You know him now. Uh, anyway, Bell is moving the ball. That's a foul. That's a foul. Ooh, couldn't get the end one. Tough the shot. Ball. Super tough shot. Took the shot. That is Carlos Peterson uh, with the shot. It looks like he's going to line to shoot, too. He's really been running the show so far for Bell. He's been doing an amazing job. Once again, we're here at Senior Night, Coolidge Senior High School, Coolidge Fieldhouse. Bell makes the first shot, which now makes it a 10-point lead for Coolidge. Walker's getting some rest. Coolidge makes some substitutions. And trust me, if anybody deserves a rest, it is Walker at this point. Yeah. He's done everything in here but paint the gym. <laughs> Literally. Rebound uh, is by Coolidge, number 12, and they are moving it. 38 seconds left in the first. Bill is in a 1-3-1, one, one, I think, but you're leaving them open. Ooh. Yeah. Coolidge looking to get something done before the quarter ends. Kind of leave their mark. I think Bill might want to get a little bit more aggressive uh, yeah. in their offense. They kind of wait to kind of get their rotation before they get their rotation of the ball movement or whatever. Yeah. Ball kind of stops at, at the perimeter. Yeah, you cannot let this Coolidge defense get set because once they're set, it's Bell struggles a lot. It's going one-on-one -on -one with this one. Five seconds, four Eight. seconds. Ooh. Ooh. That is the end of the first quarter here at Senior Night, Coolidge Senior High School. At the end of the first quarter, it is Coolidge 15. It is Bell 5. Um, Coolidge is playing amazing right now. Uh, Coolidge just needs to finish quicker and better on the other side of the floor. But defensively, Coolidge is doing all they can do to stop Bell. Bell needs to get more aggressive on offense, um, get some of that aggression that they're putting on defense and just translate it to the other side of the floor. Uh, Coco, I'm sorry. I keep calling you Coco Chanel because <laughs> that's kind of like her nickname for everybody that's listening. Uh, Chanel? Um, I feel like they could be more aggressive with their passes. Who, who, who could be more aggressive? Coolidge. Coolidge could be more aggressive. Yes. That's actually true. But uh, what else? Other than that, they got great defense, and I like how they always go for the shot. That's what's up. So it's 15 to 5 at the beginning of the second quarter. Senior night here at Coolidge Senior High School, so that is really working good for us. Uh, senior night, and there's going to be an amazing senior presentation at halftime. But as we begin uh, the second quarter, 15 to 5, I did not know it was a shot clock in high school, so you guys got to forgive me. Uh, it's been that long since I've realized that they had implemented a shot clock in high school basketball. Oh, you back in your day, it wasn't a, no shot clock? Boy, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but no, it wasn't. What? <laughs> I know, I know. How many years ago was that, E? Two. Uh, <laughs> we, we are now back. Bill is on the move again. There is a press, 1-3-1 uh, one, one press going, and they're, uh, Coolidge is pressing at the perimeter extra aggressively. I guess this is them saying that they don't believe that the ball handlers can uh, penetrate their defense right now. So. I think 
I also think that's what they're saying, E. That's a good pass. Ooh, good he passes. It. Couldn't get it done. Ooh, got the rebound. 33. That's a good Put it in. That is number 33 for Bell. I think if they're going to get back in the game, that may be the strategy they're going to have to use. Ty John Harrison right there with the uh, shot right there. Coolidge is back on top. Curtis is running the point. Curtis for three. Curtis for three. Ooh, good luck. Just couldn't get it to fall. Yeah, the iron has been a little unkind for Coolidge. Man, what? In this first quarter, I um, mean, his first half. Bell is back on the move again. I think the strategy of getting it to number 33 would help. Especially since Walker isn't in the game. A big defensive presence for Coolidge. That's a good uh, shot. Good shot. Ooh, nice rebound by Coolidge. Curtis is on the move. On the break. Gives it to Gaskins in the corner. Ooh, Gaskins can't do nothing with it. They're back. It's, it's back to Gaskins. It's interesting because Bale is playing really aggressive uh, defensively. They are. They just can't translate to offense. Gaskins for three, can't get it in. Coolidge with the offensive rebound. I think Coolidge is living at the, at the three-point line a little bit too much. I think so, too. I think they should drive a little bit, just a tad bit more, man. Yeah, they're just living on that perimeter. Yeah, trying to get, the, get that uh, open three look. Yeah, four straight shots was just missed on this possession right here. So uh, they might want to think about their strategy. Ooh, oh, down low. Let's pass inside. Ooh, make that five. What a block. That's a crazy block. Oh, look, they're about to sell Walker back in. Coach said, I had enough of this. Peterson running the show for Bale. Okay. Bell has really good ball movement. Butterfingers. That's funny. Can't catch the ball. Gaskins. Ooh, Gaskins. My boy. That oh, like, that looked like actually a good one. Nah, it's a foul. We just going. We just going to blame that that you got fouled. Was that was that a foul to you, Chanel? No. It looked like he just lost the ball, didn't he? Yeah. But we going to blame that on the foul though. Hold on, but you know what? I think Chanel Coolidge bias is coming out right now when she said it wasn't a foul. I mean, it was a foul. I said it wasn't a foul. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Gaskins. Ooh, and ball doesn't lie. Ball doesn't. Gaskins so far 0 for 1 in, at this trip to the line. And for their offense to work, Gaskins has to get going. He's averaging 21.8 points a game. Which is crazy. So uh, for them to get going, he will definitely have to be the guy. Second shot is made. He splits it at the line. They're now Ooh. in the press. They're now pressing. So basically, they are now believing that their ball their ball handlers can get the ball up court. Oh, gave that, it right to Chin, number three on Coolidge. Chin steal. puts it up. A steal. Great bucket. I think he's hurt. Number one is hurt. Oh, and this is a huge loss for Bill Hudgens. Did some research on Bill, Ian. He's a, he's a big-time defensive and nice score. Great two-way player for them. Yes, he has been. And, and he has been money in the bank. Yes. 18 to 7 right now. Coolidge is up, and they're now in their uh, press, and they're 1-2-1 one, one press, basically saying they don't believe that the ball handlers can get the ball up the court. They're applying pressure. Bill should just still trying to get something going, some momentum, some something. Ah, it's a foul. A little aggressive. It's a foul on number 12, uh, Nevers. But one thing I do respect about Coolidge is that they are playing aggressive no matter what the foul. Um, they're just keeping that same tenacity. Bale on, taking out on the side. 5 8 left to go in the uh, second quarter. Three from the wing. Ooh, couldn't get it. Walker, yet another rebound. Good job protecting that ball. Gaskins pull up, free throw line, air ball. Gaskins is off. He's really off today. Mm, Gaskins with the, with the steal. Ooh. I think I like the fact that the refs are letting him play today. I do uh, like that. that. No, I like that too. They're not, they're not calling it tight. They're allowing them to play. Good screen by Walker to the corner. Living corner on, three. Living on the Bang. three. But it's working for him, E. That's Nevers? Yeah. Nevers on the three. 21 to 7 now. A 14 point lead is now open. To the hole. Drive. Oh my God. What the block? 
Can we go coast to coast? What a finish by Gaskins. Jeez, Coolidge really and looks Bell like caught, with this one. Bell calls the timeout. They want to stop the momentum right now. It has been heating up a little bit now. 23 to 7. I think that both teams could do better, but it's going to be hard for Bill to come back, definitely. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You're really hard to impress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even though uh, Coolidge is up by uh, 16 points, you're still not impressed. I love it, though. I love that you're not impressed either. That is important. We, just, we must raise the expectation level, you know what I mean? And one day when you become a basketball coach, you can have that expectation for him as well. 4.09 left to go in the second quarter. Coolidge is up 23 to 7 right now. Yep. Uh, and it is going tight. Carlos Peterson checked in for Coolidge. Well, I know from him, he's like Coolidge's energizer bunny off the bench. And Bell makes a substitution, number 24. He's back in the game. I think he left early with two fouls earlier. Sometimes you, when you look at these stat sheets. Mm. Can we get something going? Ooh. Hey. Oh. One thing about Nevers, he has no problem pulling the trigger. Nah, he is going to shoot it. No frame, he, sleep. He, he is going to pull it. No, he, he going to pull it. And he's been shooting about 50%, so it's not unwarranted. Walker on the corner now. Walker with the pull up. No good. Can't rebound. Get it done. Back to Coolidge. Peterson with the rebound. Oh, I'm so sorry. Not Peterson. It's all good. Nevers. Nevers. To Chin. Back to Nevers. You know what Nevers is doing. What a pass. Jesus Christ. Good pass. That was a good pass. Good look. Bell is on the move. I've noticed that Bell does not when they uh they do not get in transition. They don't push the ball up. They they stick to their pace. That's a three. That's a three. Oh, okay. Maybe this can be a starter or a run for Bell. That is uh, Bolding with the ball. Back to Bolding. Back to Walker. Oh, good shot by Bolding. Come in the game and immediately get a bucket. Coolish up by 15 with three minutes left in the half. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, my boy, what you doing? Coolidge is sitting on everything right they now. Really are. Jesus Christ. That's a foul. That's a foul. <laughs> Smack him right in his face. Don't ooh like that, Nevers. Don't ooh. Don't do that. Don't ooh. <laughs> you can't ooh like that. You fouled him. Uh, Nevers, what the foul? Now, Nevers is aggressive. So, what do you think so far, Coco? Chanel? And, and at some point, I'm going to start calling you Coco Chanel and just call you Chanel. Okay. <laughs> it's fine either one. But, um... They got a nice rotation with the ball. Coolidge or a bail? Both. Okay. It's interesting because as nice as the rotation is with Bell, uh, they still only have 10 points, so, but they do have nice rotation. Nah, great ball moving by Bell. Ooh, could not get that one to go. Oh, it looked like he went in for a minute. Walker playing point guard now. Up top, 2.30 left to go in the half. 25, 10, 15 point lead. Uh, ah, Coolidge oh, has missed oh. a lot of open looks which is probably one of the reasons why Chanel is not impressed. <laughs> now I get it. Now I can get why you're not impressed. Coolidge is going man to man right now. 2.23 left to go in the half. <clears throat> mm, looks like Coolidge is going to stay in their zone. Yeah, it's like a man-to-man -man zone on the perimeter. Yeah, they kind of like break it off as soon as they cross half court. They're playing great. They're playing great defense. No, Four seconds are. to go on the shot clock. Ooh, what a, what a block! I think some of the issues is they wait too late in the shot clock to, to start, get something going. To get something going, yeah. Fifteen. That's a block. Okay, twenty-four. Fifteen for Coolidge. 24 for Bell with the foul. Mahmoud Dibiete 
6'5", senior with the block, but it was a foul. Makai Austin Day at the line. Jesus Christ, he's a junior weighs 219. Lefty. One shot left, 147 left to go in the half. It's been uh, all Coolidge so far. Man, 18 point lead now, 147 left. I'm sorry, 17 point lead, 145, and Coolidge is still in their zone press. Coolidge has really been running away with this one from quarter one. But it's interesting because Bell has had their opportunities. They just have not maximized on them. Good shot. Rebound. Ooh, Walker. Rebound. Cool. Jesus. Walker, oh, on, Walker on the break. Boy. That's a Hell steal. Oh, that's a steal. For three. Three. Ooh, off the back iron. Rebound. Bell. We didn't see. We don't see that too often by Bell. Too many offensive rebounds. Bell have had their chances. They just could they just have not converted. Man. They've they've actually had their chances. Cool is just really killing them on the boards. And that is a big reason why they are up 17 points right now. Carlos Peterson running the point right now for Bell. He's been money in the bank so far. And Ooh, that is good money. It goes. That's a shot. That was a bad pass. He was able to rebound. It's a great shot. I think that may be the strategy that Bell needs to use is just breaking down the press. Gas, not gas, I'm sorry. Curtis. Oh, rebound Walker. Can't get it to go. I mean, Walker Ooh. literally. He must have 10 rebounds in the first half. Austin Day and Gaskins just trading rebounds there. You get a rebound. No, you get a rebound. That's a good move. You know, despite the score, it's been a real competitive game. It has. I mean, even though it looks like a blowout, it's not necessarily been a blowout. Uh, it's just that nobody has impressed Chanel at this point. Uh, but she does like the rotation. Um, you know what I think is helping Coolidge? The coaches' uniformity. How about it? Because they might be the best dressed coaches I've ever seen. Man, what? <laughs> Literally, they must have a stylist and a wardrobe budget. Anyway, Coolidge <laughs> is on the move. Oh, nice. Gaskins with the drive. Gaskins. Can't get it to go, man. Those are easy points right there, man. Gaskins has not been on. Gaskins, Gaskins has been missing some easy bunnies, some easy layups yeah. uh, to go with his uh, normal 21-point average right now. Uh, Peters, is, Carlos Peters is back at the foul line. Maybe he can get some easy points for Bell before the end of the half. This one's up. And this in. One, one for one during this trip up the line so far. He's been consistent so far in the first half. He's been the one oh. bright spot for Bale. <laughs> two for two at the line. Gaskins at the lane again. At the layup, at the layup, basket. Layup at the wow. buzzer. It's halftime. At the, end, half. at the end of the first half, it is now Coolidge 29, Bale 14. Beginning of the uh, second half, third quarter, 29-14. Coolidge is taken out on the side. And we're about to begin second half of senior night here, Coolidge Senior High School. The Scholars Athletic Sports Network Association in conjunction with Dean Wood Radio Broadcast, DPR. We're back. Ooh, what a Ooh, hey. What a way to start the second half. Boy. Walk, walk up with a dunk. Mama, there go that man. Man, he must have done it with senior night. <laughs> uh, 
Right back at it. Bell is rotating the ball again. Yeah, that's one of them dunks with your, your girl out there. He wanted to prove something. Mm. Mm. Out of bounds. I don't know whether he lost it, just threw it out there. But Walker. That pass was a little iffy. Coolidge Curtis is on the move. He's been handling the ball so far. Uh, number zero. And to number two, Bolden. Ooh, Gaskins with a dangerous pass. And it is off. 7-13 left to go in the second half. Uh, third quarter, I'm sorry. It was super dangerous to throw that ball across court like that. Bale is looking to get something going right now. And that Ooh, Curtis looking for the steal. And a travel, good call, ref. No, nah, sit down, man. Like, hold on, hold on. You thought that was a good call? Yeah. He hit all ball. That was no, like the ball, yeah, the ball hit his face, but he was going for the ball. Well, let me say this. You better be lucky we don't have a replay because we would go back on that one. Anyway, Coolidge is on the move right now. Mm. Gaskins is looking to get his average up of 21 points. Shot is off. Rebound is to Bell. Bell is on the move. And I think this is what Bell has to do. Bell has to get a lot more rebounds, but they can't let Coolidge's defense get set. They have to capitalize on the fast break opportunities, get the ball down court. That's for three. That is good for three. That is number one. Hugens with the shot for Bell. I'm trying to spit through that lane, Curtis. Ooh. Another rebound for Walker. Walker. Another Walker rebound. Walker with another rebound. I literally think Walker has 12, 13 rebounds. Gets tangled up down there. Already tangled up. Bell ball, 31-17 right now. Uh, Bell is looking to get something moving. Yeah. Two straight baskets and two turnovers. 6-13 left to go in the second half, uh, third quarter. Forgive me. It looks like Coolidge is going back into a, I don't want to say lazy 2-3 two, two, zone, but it's definitely relaxed. Shot is up. Shot is up. And it's no Walker good. with the rebound. Wow. Loose ball following on number 33. If there's a ball to be had, Walker finds it. Yeah, man. He finds his way to get it in this possession. No wonder why he averages almost 20 rebounds a game. He is a force to be reckoned with, reckoned with when it comes to the boards. 23. Mm. Fouls called. Number 23, um, M. Stalin dates to the, uh, who's a senior on senior night here, going to the foul line. Man, I almost thought that when I saw Walker, Average 19.5 rebounds. I almost thought it was a misprint, but boy, I mean, he, he is beyond impressive. No, he is a beast. And I feel like he can do everything. He's taking the ball up the court, he can go in the lane. Chanel, so far, second half, what do you think? It's okay. Okay, uh, do, do you, are you impressed with Bell moving the ball a little bit more? I mean, they had pretty good rotation in the first place. It's just the players, like just, just they got all those players on the bench, and they're using the same six or seven. That's a that's mm. a steal. Ooh, that's watch your hand, hey. boy. Boy, Walker is going out with a bang on senior night. Man, Walker definitely has a girl in the crowd. That's this funny. game, E, that is the way he is playing. <laughs> Walker gets the ball back. Walker, and a, with, ooh, another. Walker with another boy. If he would have yammed that one, boy. Bill, Bill might need a timeout right here because they are, this lead is kind of stretching out, and Walker is leading the press. This is not often you see the, the big guy leading the press, but he has the footwork to do it. Almost as if, like he has the footwork of a point guard, which is kind of scary at his size. He has done everything in here tonight thus far. 36-17, Coolidge is up. Senior night here. And Walker is really putting on the clinic right now. Man, what he is putting in work right now, E. Gaskins playing defense. Mm. He got away with that? Okay. I, I was thinking the same thing. Walker block. with the crazy block. He didn't even jump. He just put his hand up. I give it to Peterson. He finds a way to try to rotate the ball. He does. And, and get something going. But the defense is just suffocating at this point. Oh, what a move. And one thing that's working in Coolidge's favor, that Coolidge is a lot bigger than Bell. It's another rebound by Walker. 
and he's leading the break. What a pass. What a pass. Oh, block. Oh, and Walker returns the favor Man. right back. I mean, Walker is just. He said, man, you got that little baby block. I'm going to send my turn to the stands, though. I don't know what type of pep talk he had in the uh, halftime, Chanel. But, jeez, Walker is He has just put on the demonstration. That's a steal. Curtis, steal by Curtis with a lazy pass. Ooh. The lead is getting up now. 40 to a uh, great bucket. Coolidge is just running away after Bell looks like they were going to have a very electrifying second half. But... Cool is just putting his into all that noise right now. Going man to man, aggressive man to man at this point. Just mm. daring Bell's perimeter guards to break the defense. Shot for number 33. That's another rebound by Walker. And Walker is now leading the break. The break is on. Wow. One thing that I'm noticing about Coolers on defense is that they're definitely taking advantage of the, the size advantage. Um definitely taking advantage of putting their bigger guys on their smaller guys. Walker for three. Don't tell me he can shoot it too. Ooh, Bolden. Wow, Bolden with the rebound and score, three-point play. The lead is getting... Um, it is expanding 40, 40 to 17 right now with 3.30 left to go in the third quarter. This is not looking good for Bell at all. Bell coming into, Bell coming into this game 13 and 7. Know. And known for playing great defense, but Coolidge is kind of just exploiting them right now. Gaskins. Gaskins for three. Let's see if he can get started. And if he can get started, this game is good and over for Bell. This is going to be a long, long night. Gaskins is now expanding his 21.8 uh, point average per Ooh. average game. Got rebound to Gaskins. Rebound too. Oh, that's Ooh, a nice cross. To the corner, right back to Curtis. Curtis, mid-range, buckets. Money, it's getting out of hand now. Oh, man, this Be is. Bell might want to get a timeout soon. It's 45-17 now. looking good. And we're coming up on a 30-point lead. Uh, 241 left to go in the third quarter, and they are pressing. It is suffocating. Man, they have turned it up thus far the second half. Man, Coolidge definitely looking like they have something to prove in the second half. Trying to extend their winning streak as well. Like Chanel, who has the cheese on the winning streak right now. Chanel, I'm trying to find all these papers. There. Okay, yeah. Walker kicks it to Curtis in the corner. Curtis kicks it to Gaskins. Walker, three. Ooh, can't get it to hit. I think he's 0 for 3 from 3 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but but he's making it up in rebounds. Man, what? He's making it up in rebounds and blocks. That's a steal. Ooh, and it doesn't really matter when you have somebody like Curtis on the other end. Curtis is averaging about two steals a game. It's a 30-point lead right now at this point. 30-point lead. Kunis is really taking command of the game right now. Uh, two minutes. They're literally going to a running clock right now. Which is sick. That is sick. Well, we probably could use a better word than sick, but yeah, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> They're running the clock right now, so it's a 30-point lead right now for Coolidge. Who's with the, on the inbound? Oh, and Walker with an easy jam. Hey, get that boy. My boy, get up there. Walker is going out with a bang on senior night tonight. Man, what? They have called the foul so far. What have you seen, Chanel? Walker's impression. So, what do I know? Like, what do I think about Walker? Yeah, well, has Walker impressed you with his second half performance so far? Always impresses. Every time. Okay. This 
is interesting is now the lead is growing and growing. They're now running the clock. Coolidge makes a few substitutions. Bell is still in that same uh, rotation, man. Guard they, perimeter. They are trying to put Bell out of their misery as soon as possible. It's a good pass. If he can convert, Coolidge is on the move. Coolidge is on the break. That's a steal. Oh, that's a steal. Had his head down, got real lazy with the ball. Good shot. Ooh. Don't want to say it's getting, it's getting sloppy, but we're kind of running it now. Oh, no, it's kind of getting a little sloppy. It's just like whatever, whatever offense. Corner three. Bell cannot get it to hit. Oh, he's Ooh. doing it. Ah, that's the end of the third quarter. Well, at the end of the three, 49-17 right now. Uh, Coolidge is really in command of the game right now. And Walker has decided in the second half that he was going to go out all guns blazing on senior night. He's Man. done everything. Hey. I'm not sure. I'm kind of at a loss for words. They're doing better, though. I'm very impressed. Absolutely. Are you, are you impressed with the fact that they have been really more aggressive than they were in the first half? Definitely. Yeah. Really aggressive. Um, I would also like to say that Walker has done everything when it comes to rebound, blocks, yeah. Uh, running, running the show. He's legit. He's legit doing everything in here today. So it is a 49-17 lead. It's a 32-point uh, lead at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And Coolidge has done everything they wanted to do on senior night here tonight. Coolidge is definitely in command. Are you impressed with the cheerleaders, Chanel? Say yes. Please say They're yes. They're okay. Say yes. Well, as a broadcaster, <laughs> you have to always be impressed. <laughs> All right, we're at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And it is 49-17. Coolidge is in complete command of this game. On senior night here at Coolidge High School. Bell is back, and it's, it's a great assessment that Chanel has really made is the fact that they have a deep bench, but they've only gone to a six to seven man rotation the whole game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a pass. Mm, that is a great pass. Side. Number 33 for Bell with the bucket. Makes it a 30-point lead, but it is uh, 7.30. Seven left in the fourth. It might be a little too late, and it looks like Coolidge might just be sitting out their seniors, well, their starters for the rest of this game because, yeah. you know. Mm. Ooh, nice I like pass the way inside. The, I like the way the refs are letting them play. I, I do say that. Yeah. Like, they're letting them play. They're not calling ticky-tack fouls. It's not touch fouls. They're giving both teams the opportunity to make their move. So that's, you know, that's good. And the refs know that both of these teams play really aggressive. So just trying to call everything is kind of uh, kind of unfair for both teams. Seven minutes left to go and count. Them. They're running the clock right now, I guess, because it was a 30-point lead when I was told. And once it's a 30-point lead, they run the clock. Uh, something like a mercy rule. So just for people who are wondering about that. Kudis is going man-to-man, -man, full court man-to-man -man right now, trying to expand the lead. Foul is on number 10 for Kudis. Number 10, our Pox. One thing about Coolidge, they are definitely not letting their foot off the gas. They're not at all. Kind of like Chanel's assessment. She's not letting them, <laughs> she's not letting them off the gas right now. <laughs> Chanel, has, has it been one player that stood out to you today? Um, on which team? On any team. Definitely Walker and... Um, probably would say, uh, and, and I probably would agree, I could guess Carlos Peters. Peterson for Bell number two. Yeah. Uh, he has stood out tonight. He really has. Uh, it's just been some easy buckets that they have not been able to convert. Kudish is on the move. Hey. Hey. Great, great bucket by Pixley, number three for Coolidge. Ooh. I give it to Peters. He's actually played hard the whole game. 
he, he's actually been really trying to create and make things happen for his team. No, nah, man, I think he earned himself a nickname, man. What is that? CP. Okay. I like that. My boy, my boy CP. He definitely, he definitely wears number two. Is that Chris Paul's number? Uh, nah, but his name's Carlos Peterson. Gotcha. So we just, we just putting it together. I love that. It's a great assessment. Uh, easy Van Gundy. Yes, sir. It's been a great game. It's been a great experience here thus far on the uh, Scholars Athlete Sports Network. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Ooh. That is a steal by Coolidge. Good steal by Coolidge. Number 10. Number 10. That's a layup. That is good. R. Pox, he is a senior, so it's great to see him get some minutes as well. Pox with the bucket, expanding the lead to 55-19. And even with this huge lead, Cool is staying super vocal on defense. And still staying super aggressive on the boards. Fouls on number 33. Coolidge is averaging. Ty Harrison. Coolidge is averaging 33 rebounds a game. Wow. And out of the 33, Walker is probably responsible for 20. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a timeout right now. Senior night here, Coolidge Senior High School. Coolidge 55, Bell 19. It has been all Coolidge, all game. Senior night here. There have been some bright spots. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, Chanel made a great assessment as well that, you know, if Bill could just go a little bit deeper into their rotation, maybe they can give themselves a fighting chance. And they have had some easy buckets if they could have just converted. Yeah. What do you think? And they got a lot more bigger players on the bench. So I feel like that whole height thing would, would, would have been dead a long time ago if they had rotated their players. Absolutely. I do agree. Because Coolers did have a massive height advantage Man, as works. well. As well. Um, also, another standout to me has been Curtis for uh, Coolers as well. Yes. Uh, he has been in a massive uh, standout. And Gaskins in the second half beginning to, uh, to get it going. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think he has reached his 21.8 average, 21 average a game. But he has been consistent on rotating the ball as well and playing defense. So um, it's been going great. 55-19 right now. Yeah. Coolidge is in complete command of this game. 422 left to go. And when they say defense wins games, they're definitely talking about this game right here. Coolidge has been playing spectacular defense. Um, you, can, you can't really ask much from them when it comes from the defensive side of the ball. Also, the Cougars have been having amazing ball movement as well. It's a foul right there. It looks like uh, Bell has finally gone to their bench uh, with three minutes left to go, four minutes left to go in the game. It's a little too late for that. A little too late for that. <laughs> Man, a lot of too late for that. Little, yeah. <laughs> Bell still playing aggressive defense, man to man. Oh, they're gonna call that back. Mm, they called a foul. Oh, it was a little touchy. Now they won't call the touchy Philly fouls. Well, it's senior night, and it's always good for some of the seniors to get some more uh, opportunities to score some buckets on senior night. You're gonna be a senior soon. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll score some buckets at school. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're back. Number Ooh, ten parks. Number ten on the parks. Corner. Rebound twenty two. Off. Off. CP, Carlos Peters, who has been the most consistent player on Bell today, uh, running the rotation. My boy, my boy CP trying to get something at the rack. Can't get it through, though. Coolidge on the break, which seems to be very common this game in an offensive rebound, which is also very common for Coolidge, and a conversion, which is also very common for Coolidge this game. That is number, two, number 22, Cadet, uh, with, the, with the basket. That whole sequence right there has been really what's – Given Coolidge the lead. Cadet is a senior as well. So it's a lot of seniors getting playing time on senior night here. Bell mm. with the air ball from three. Bad air ball. And they're back on the move. Ooh. Ooh. That's a move. Nice move. Corner so, three. Oh, they're off. Foul. Bell. Coolers are trying to get more seniors in, which is great. With 2.31 left to go in the game, they're in complete command, 57 to 19. Oh, they're running the clock now. 
Keeping that clock going. Trying to get Bell up out of here as quickly as possible. Coolidge done put these boys to bed, man. Uh, it was a tough game, and I will say, uh, I think, you know, Bell just did not convert in the first half on the opportunities that they had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, there were chances. They just did not convert. And maybe, like Chanel says, if they go a little bit deeper into their bench, they'll give themselves a chance. And one thing I do like about Cool is they are playing to the last whistle. Yes, they are. They are playing to the absolute last whistle. Okay, so we don't have number 20's uh, number in here, but he is balling. And this is where we're going to have to get better at this. He has been balling. I wish we knew what his name was. Oh, good point. They do not have him on the on the scouting report. First free throw up. Mm, off the back iron. Now Bell gets a nice little substitution. A rare, rare substitution. I haven't seen that much from Bell. Yeah, maybe if they would have listened to uh, Chanel's scouting report earlier, we would have been a little bit better at this one. But I will say that uh, Coolidge looks like it's about to expand their record to 11 and three in league play, um, heading into the tournament. 12, 12 and I'm sorry, 12, 12 and, two. and two. 12 and two. 12 and I'm two so in sorry. league play. 12 and two in league play, and they look like they're going to be in a great position when it comes to the tournament. We'd like to see how it turns out. The Scholar Athletes Network will be uh, calling the tournament, so we're looking forward to that. Are we going to the tournament? Yes, we are calling Oh, the that's fire. <laughs> and, and we're going to make sure Coco Chanel be there with us because you're our natural. Thank you for joining us. How did it feel the first one? Um, it's kind of nervous. Ooh, good so, ending up by 20. Hey. Ooh. We're all nervous. It's Saturday, letting that clock run with 13 seconds. Left. Coolidge. Come on. Playing to the last bell. Three, two, one. Great game by Coolidge. Coolidge runs away with this one, 57-19, and improves their record to 14-7. and seven. Right, so we are here with star Stephon Walker. You had an amazing game. Um, Appreciate it. You are a senior, so I just want to know, how does it feel for this to be your last home game in this building? Uh, I mean, it's very emotional right now, but I ain't going to show it on camera. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's been a pleasure to play here all four years. I mean, the staff is pretty good. The mm -hmm. teachers here help me out a lot. The coaching staff, football too. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a good environment and it's a family-oriented school. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that definitely stood out this game was your rebounding ability. Uh, you on the boards were crazy this game, and it definitely drove y'all to the lead that y'all had definitely in that first yeah. half in the for sure in that second half. So tell me uh, your mentality when it comes to getting boards and just rebounding the ball. Uh, I mean, tonight I was trying to break my record. My record was 27. Ooh, I had that when get? I played. Tonight I had 25. And oh. I was trying to get 30. <laughs> yeah. But um, my mentality when, like, rebound is like, all right, I got to go get it because mm -hmm. if nobody else don't, then the other team probably going to get it. And, right. I mean, me being able to score and rebound at the same time, mm -hmm. Coaches really, if they know you can score, they want to see what else you could do. So me, my ability to rebound helps me get recruited too. Right. So um, coming out of that second half, you had three crazy dunks. Um, definitely boosted up the energy for Coolidge. Uh, tell me your mindset and uh, just going into those dunks, man. Uh, they told me I had like 25. I'm like, all right, now I got to get some points too. <laughs> so uh, pretty much just trying to get on the, the I mean, mm -hmm. like build, build a momentum for the bench mob that was coming in after me. That kind of turned them up. Some mm -hmm. of them got to get some good buckets too. Right. And with playoffs coming around the corner, just walk us through your mentality and how you just approaching these next uh, couple of games. Uh, pretty much like play the same way, but I got turned up a notch. And then mm -hmm. like after my last game, probably just like recover, stay in the gym, and then mentally lock in mm -hmm. for playoffs. Well, All right, so we are here post game interview with Kevin Nevers, uh, the senior. Uh, you guys played an amazing game, uh, an electrifying first half, but you came out that second half hot. So what was kind of that uh, halftime prep talk that you guys had with your coaches? Um, pretty much Coach Durkee he just said we were slacking. He mm -hmm. told us to pick it up. The energy was low. We just came high, came in the uh, second half with high energy. Steph, Steph on Walker hit like three dunks, the momentum changer. So mm -hmm. just moved on his energy and everybody else's energy, bench energy, everybody's just ready, locked in. Right. All right, and uh, so with this being your last home game as a senior, how did, how did that make you feel? 
man. It was, it was, it was crazy. Like the even though we ain't have no spectators, just the parents and the cheerleaders and the people that were here, mm -hmm. their energy just made it seem like this was a full gym, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my last question: uh, How how do you think your team is going to take a big one from tonight and move on to the next game? And to the next game, how do you think y'all going to carry that momentum on to the next game? Um, we just got to stay hungry, stay poised. I think. I think we're gonna take this game into the next game because just, just like we still have nothing to prove. Like we still got a lot to prove. Mm -hmm. So I just think we just gonna just we gotta we gotta just transfer over, especially mm -hmm. just you know. I mean, my for it. Yeah. yeah. And my my last last question with playoffs right around the corner. How are your team going? Uh, y'all are on a nice little win streak right now. How are y'all gonna take this momentum going into playoffs? We just. Practice. Mm -hmm. In practice, we we working hard. Like you'd think we was the worst team in the league. You'd think we was number twelve. Like <laughs> that's how we just like we don't really pay attention to the rankings. Mm -hmm. We still, like I said, we still got stuff to prove. Mm -hmm. And that definitely shows. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Y'all played an amazing game. And um, thank you all for watching this post game interview with Scottish Athlete Sports Network. I've been Eric Curry the Third, and I'm Paul Washington. And we'll see y'all next time. Stefan Walker, class 2022 at Calvin Coolidge High School, and you're watching SANSN.TV.